Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. I'm going to show you two games today, one of which I haven't seen yet, and the other one I have seen snippets of, and they promise to be quite good ones. So, let's hop straight in. We've got uh, Pool for the win in the Vickers Light, as you can see. He finds himself on Dead Rail, and he sent me this game, said, Martin, really good one, about spotting, mostly. Because one of the things you should do in a light tank is try to go and spot. And what tank order to do it better in than the Vickers Light? I mean, it has the best view range in tier 10. It's got mobility. It has a bit of a trollish turret. The Vickers CR at tier 9 is even better at that. And it obviously has a British gun with good accuracy. So you might want to do a little bit of a spotting run like this. And then spot the Chieftain. And then bugger off. Not trying to take a shot. Otherwise you might get hit yourselves. And in a way, this is great gameplay. Uh, uh, you, you could obviously state that, well, he hasn't shot anybody yet, so his damage isn't uh, good, but guys have uh, been getting shot now. If you spot in a light tank at first, and if you sit on that bridge at dead rail, if you're trying to go hold on and shoot the enemy, then yeah, it can be worthwhile. But what might happen too, is that you get obliterated. I've been able to... to to shoot a nice Jagdpanzer E100 uh, AC shell through the lower plate of a Vickers ZR, which was obviously a really nice shot. Um, but until now, you can see that Pool for the Win has done only one damaging shot, um, but he's dealt, what is it, 1300 spotting assist already, and he's spotting up this grill, as you can see, going and go hold down just a little bit, just a little bit, yes, hello grill, we're going to shoot you, there we go, lovely stuff, nice shot into the grill. But take a look at the uh, at the ribbons on the left of the screen, 2.6k, here we go, 1k damage dealt, no average damage, but still, really good gameplay. The Chief is running for his life now, as you can see, he wants to get involved a little bit, he wants to hopefully clear that uh, that other light tank, the, the Sheridan maybe. Um, and we have an object 140 over there, that tank has been taken out. Uh, Elo hydrogen bomb has been taken out by the FE215B. But you can see that Pool for the Win has now killed three times, 1374 damage dealt. Oh, that's very low, that's very low. Yes, but still, he is up on, what is it like, I think 2k average damage already. That's 3.3k combined, guys. You can say whatever you want, but that is just a great game. You should be really happy about that anytime, anytime. Doesn't even matter how... Uh, how much you're flexing anything, if you can do stuff like that, it's really great. And Pooh is just circumventing the map, he's just running all the way around, as you can see. He wants to hopefully get involved, or hopefully, I think he wants to get involved with a standard B. Because he realizes the tank destroyer on his right, his friendly teammate, is being rushed, kind of. He's getting shot. He has shot the standard B once, here we go. Track him in place, lovely stuff. Track shot, great work, great work, and the... Grill is going to say, boom, hello, who's your daddy? There we go, truck him again. And is he dead yet? No, not, not yet, not yet, not yet. But 2k damage dealt. And in total, he is up to still 3k average? Or 3k assist? 2 but 2k damage dealt. Uh, no no more assist yet, not not any new stuff, but there's more to come. FE215B over there, Waffle Tractor is over there. Guys, I'm gonna go into towards Sector 7, I'm gonna push in, I'm going to rush in, I'm going to spot the Waffle. There he is, Waffle has been spotted. Waffle is gonna get shot, hopefully. Yes, there is 2.8k average damage, 3k, there it is. Hello, FE215B183, we're tracking you in place, we're getting shot, we're on fire, we're extinguishing the fire, but this guy is burning, as you can see. Burn, baby, barbecue FE, 4k spotting. 2.8k damage dealt with her, uh, for himself, 2,842 to be more precise. But he got some first class, as you can see, the Redley Walters, the Top Gun medal, a uh, patrol duty, a scout medal. Typical great light tank gameplay by just running around, uh, going on the ridge, then driving over there, and then shooting people and getting shot yourselves. And look at that, 4k spotting. Not good for your average damage, but a great one in terms of playing the game. And, of course, in winning the game. And uh, let's be fair, let's be fair, the game is still about winning. Um, then we need this one, P36C, in the Type 62. And just, I would, would advise you to take your time a little bit and just uh, sit and uh, wait it out, because this one, 
this will go on and run until uh, pretty much the end, you know, the full seven minutes. And it's going to be a little bit of driving in the middle and a little bit of not doing a lot and a lot, not a lot of action. But it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a nice one, I promise you that. I like watching it. Um, I've watched a little bit of this one already with snippets and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Good one in terms of damage as well. Um, now why am I saying this stuff? Well, uh, there was Happy World Blitz who, uh, who has a uh, channel about World of Tanks Blitz who decided to take one of my comments about average damage and then use just that single comment um, and turn it into something else just to, I don't know, to get views maybe on his channel, whatever. He basically said that I want average damage to be removed from the game. Well, well ladies and gentlemen, Tangas of Blitz Universe, I do not. I think it is overrated as the one and only, the one or the be all and end all stat to look at and just the performance of a player. You need to look at all the other factors as well. What type of tank is he playing? What tier is he playing? If you play mostly tier uh, 6 or 7 just because you want to and because you like it, then you won't get high average damage. It's just not possible. Uh, but KV2 can do a lot of damage. Yes, but I mean, there's there's only so much hit points to give away in a certain tier. If you if you want to raise average damage, you should not get shot too many times. You should retain your hit points. You should do the trades like this: 332 towards the bossing, then roll behind because the bossing was shooting somebody else. He misses this shot, this shot, which is a bit unfortunate. But he's going to get another one in onto the left side of the gun shield. There we go, there we go. And the Borsik is still not shooting him. And double tap, there we go. Borsik has been taken out. 1k damage dealt. You should do trades like this. This is what you should do. But why am I saying still that average damage in a way is overrated? I've had people tell me that I'm a bad player because I did not have the 2k average damage. Well, spoiler alert, I've played last 30 games, mostly two nines and tens. And I got 2k average damage. I got a lower win rate than my uh, career win rate. But here, what I'm saying, I played tier 9 and 10 mostly. Or maybe even strictly average tier for last 30 days is like 9 point something. Um, there's a lot of tier 9 and 10. That means there's a lot of damage to give away. That means that if you play the FP215B 183 Death Star, then you will get a lot of damage. And this is a bit of an uh, annoying shot into the ground uh, projector. Uh, that would have been an easy shot into the side of the projector. But yeah, if, if you play the big guns, if you play the tank destroyers, if you play the KV2s of this world, then you will be able to raise your average damage. If you already play a lot of tier 10, well, good luck then. Good luck then raising your average damage because at one point there is just no possibility to do it anymore. While P36C shoots the top of the ISU 152 and doesn't penetrate the shot. That's another thing you should do. Just pick up easy targets like this one. Shoot the tanks that uh, pre present their side to you. Just do it once and then twice and then shoot behind him. Have adrenaline loaded. Here we go. A PS, another AP shell. You might just be able to, to penetrate him with, uh, with AP, but not quite sure. This is a bit annoying, only track shot into the turret stand. There we go. T-34 play a different gun, says the, the, the T-34, says T-32. Uh, no selfish people here. Uh, no, uh, that's sure indeed. Yes. Oh, that's annoying, that's annoying, that's annoying. Oh, no, 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 Yes. <laughs> Takes out the ammo too. That's good. And he doesn't get shot by the Bliat mobile over here by the uh, IG-152. <laughs> this IG-152 is again running away. You, you, you saw, you've seen P-36E. He was eyeing that IG-152 earlier, but uh, right, didn't really work. Gonna go for the Progetto. What? Yes, 209. The Progetto A. Has he got a full magazine? Oh, he's got a full magazine. That's not good. Oh, that's annoying. Yes, now he's out of his three shots. Go in, go in, Kenji. Yes, gets him. Lovely stuff. Legendary 24 has been taken out. The ISU has cleared T34. And that means that P36C here has to make a um, maybe Kolobanos. Not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if he killed the Progetto before the T34 was killed. I think it was the other way around. I think he killed the Progetto before the T34 and the T34 was, was, was still alive when he killed the the projectile, so is it Kolobanovs? I'm not sure. But still, he has to kill two tanks. 
One of them is an ISU-152, one of them is an SU-152, and one of them has decided to go on towards the cap. Lovely stuff. Where is the SU? There it is. We can reset the cap this once. Lovely stuff. Maybe pop a run in and nobody. I pop a run in. I pop a run in. Go with track shot. Ooh, that's annoying. He gets a shot in onto the SU 152, but doesn't get the track shot. That is a little bit annoying. Hugh Stoos 36 says cap. Move! Oh! In, in capitals as well. So turn to the tank around, shoot once. Yes, lovely stuff. What are you doing? Money, money. Well, he's trying to win the game, buddy. He's trying to win the game. I mean, you're still up in terms of uh, victory points. There's 3.6k damage dealt already. Three kills, and he's doing a little dipsy doodle over here. He's going towards base A. Uh, at least he wants to make the, the red team think he's going towards base A, and then he's not going towards base A, because this guy is taking the bait. He's taking the bait. Hello, SU-152. Come on. SU-152 realizes he's spotted. Right. That guy knows what he's doing in a way. 1 minute 70 seconds left on the clock. He can still do it if he manages to find the SU-152 quickly and then kill him. And then hopefully have the adrenaline still to kill the ISU-152. He is proxy spotted now. Which way is he? Oh, he's facing that way. That is a bit annoying. Risk it for the biscuit. Yes, there we go. Adrenaline still not doing it. Still not. Yeah. Oh, he shot. He shot. You shot as well. But you can clear him out now. That is an easy kill. There we go. Look today. Thank you. Right, where are you then, I as you want 52, you big brother, where are you? Cap B, no, he is on A, there's no time to cap B, there is no time to cap B, he has to go towards cap A, hopefully reset and then kill that I as you 152. Are you dumb? Says he's 32. Cap, 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 cap. Yeah, we, we know you are. Cap! We know you are using capitals, mate. We can already see that. Yeah, touch the shot, touch the bullet. Yes, carry the gun. The choice is yours. Bounce. Ooh, this is going to be really close. This is going to be really close. That is adrenaline running. He gets a bounce on the side of the IG-152. Yet another shot in. Yes, there we go. Go, 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 go. 235. High roll. He needs a high roll. He doesn't, he, he doesn't get a high roll. Oh! <laughs> Oh, so doom, says the T30, <laughs> T32. But guys, look at this, a mastery on the loss. 1646 base XP, top gun, high caliber, gets the Orlix medal, 4687 damage dealt. Um, that truly is a monster game, but yeah, it, it's not, it's not a win. It is not a win. What a heartbreaker there for P36C in the Type 62. Ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers, happy tanking, and bye-bye. <laughs>